TLO, what's poppin'? We are on Twitch, we are not live. But you can leave a like, comment, subscribe, turn on your post notification bells. Now let's continue to grow the family from Chicago to the UK. Uh, don't forget, man, we do are partner with the Blueprint Mastermind. This is a brand new, brand new round table. And this one, I ain't gonna lie, this was hilarious. I watched this back and I was rolling. Uh, uh, featuring Mr. Goddamn it. You know who he is. He's the Hellcat guy. I might have a vlog with him soon, man. He drives Hellcats. He drives them crazy. And I know I said I'd never get in a car with somebody who drives like this. But it's, I just think it, I'm going to do it for y'all, man. It's going to be funny. <laughs> um, this is where all my old stuff is, if you're wondering. And don't forget, man, we do got Patreon. Links, I'll link to all of this is down below, man. Remember, if y'all want Benordum tonight, it's simple. Hit that link below, man. Get us a like and a comment. It's very simple. There's going to be a real late, 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 late Benordum. Benadorm, I mean. Benadorm. Anyway, let's get to this, man. This is, this is like some world news, man. It's an anti-refugee protest. Grow. In Great Britain and Britain, I have no idea what this is about. I just seen this. I'm like, what's going on? You save big this home and auto bundle, Extrava Fest to save a thon. Time to ring this. And I'm gonna keep it a buck, man. Like when I think of the UK, I think of like a huge melting pot. That's why I like it so much because it's, it reminds me of you know Chicago. You can go there and you can get a bunch of different cultures in one place. So. But I don't know. Let me see what's going on, man. Uh, dang. Savings bell. <laughs> British anti-refugee protest turns violent outside migrant hotel. Clashes outside the UK hotel housing asylum seekers. I don't, I don't, I don't know exactly what the passion is, or or where the, and the people are coming from, or or what's it doing to the economy. I'm not there, so I won't speak on that per per se. I will speak on some of these people though. Some of these people who are out here. I've never been a part of no protest, nothing. I've never went outside and burnt up my own city. So. You're not going to say I have. Oh, what about? No, not a part of it. Can't get me with that one. Sorry. Um, some of y'all just don't have kids. <laughs> one day your kids is going to look back at this and be like, yo, what What was you do? I, what are you doing? <laughs> like, this is... feeling like people want something to do like 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 let's just go outside and be disruptive you know what i'm saying let's just go outside and burn something and i don't indulge in this i don't i don't applaud it i don't i don't even think it helps anything really just says you're mad it's like when my daughter throws a tantrum like you don't you're not it's not doing anything to me <laughs> It's not doing anything to me, which is the power that be that can fix it. Like, chill out. Is this, I need an explanation, though. Is this if your business kept on employees through the pandemic. Oh, 
Outside a hotel giving refuge to asylum seekers, the message from protesters is clear. You're not welcome here. Get them out! Get them out! It was said to have begun as a peaceful rally at the Suites Hotel in Knowsley on Merseyside. Within just a couple of hours, it turned ugly. Loads here, mate. Absolutely loads. With the refugees inside the hotel, the protesters turned their anger on the police. This is Liverpool too, right? This is the pool. Missiles were hurled at officers, a police van burnt to a shell. I got no comment on it. Counter-protesters who came out in support of the refugees had also gathered. We've been in the hotel today talking to people. They are very disturbed by the events. Um, they are just ordinary people. Um, the things that have happened to them, you know, conflicts coming to their countries, and they are just as shocked and disturbed by what happened last night as we are. Merseyside police said detectives are in... It's just, it's just like... God forbid something serious ever happens to something over there on y'all side. Something happens terrible and y'all need to flee to the U.S. Come on. No problem. Open arms. Come on. At least from me. From me personally. I know some people won't like it. I know some people have their opinions. But like I would never have a problem. And I just, I don't know. Investigating reports of an incident which occurred earlier in the week when a man allegedly made inappropriate advances towards a teenage girl. It's thought to be one of the reasons well, nah, which sparked it, the protest. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> in a statement today, a Home Office spokesman said, the scenes outside the hotel and violence towards police officers last night by a group of people in Merseyside were totally unacceptable. We're working closely with Merseyside police and partners on the ground to ensure the safety of those in our care and the wider community. The local authority, Knowsley Council, said this had been given... Okay, so two things are going on. Something that happened with the police, they said? Unwanted advances at a minor is wild. Okay, I get the anger in that, but the, the, the whole, like... Like migrants fleeing a war-torn country for... To cool out, like, and less than 48 hours notice of the Home Office's intention to place asylum seekers at the hotel, but they were committed to supporting people fleeing persecution. Well, earlier I spoke to Steve Rotherham, the Metro Mayor of the Liverpool City region, and I began by asking him what he made of the events of last night. It's hugely disappointing, you know. We're known, aren't we, in our area as being somewhere that welcomes people who are fleeing persecution or famine or war, and yet we saw people last night targeted who uh, were absolutely innocent of the sort of conjecture and speculation that surrounded their stay in part of the, the city region in, in Nosley. And it's, it's, you know, it's typical, isn't it, at this moment in time where everything is quite visceral in this country, you know, very, very sort of polarised views of politics in the world. And it's overspilled uh, last night. I mean, you've made it quite clear for a number of years now that Liverpool welcomes asylum seekers, welcomes refugees. It is quite possible that some of your constituents don't agree. And well, it really? is quite possible and, and quite probable, in all honesty, because they weren't all from out of town who were involved in these activities last night. But that's part of the problem. You know, we, we constantly hear the mantra from central government about levelling up, and these people don't feel as if things are being levelled up in their favour. And therefore, sometimes they take that out on scapegoats. And I think, unfortunately, these people who are seeking asylum, you know, they're, they're fleeing some of the... That's tough, bro. At the end of the day, this is bogus. I don't even know, like... Like if something was going on with me over here and I needed to flee somewhere and go to the and, and go somewhere, I'd be like, okay, I'm, I, I feel comfortable. I would have thought it would have been Liverpool, right? I'm an honorary scouser. What's going on? You know what I'm saying? If if if, 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 if I wouldn't be a good friend to y'all if when y'all was doing wrong, I just sat back and let y'all do wrong. And, and and no, that's not that's not what this is, man. Now the whole police thing with the girl underage okay whatever but like 
war stricken <laughs> hungry famished people coming looking for support looking for help because their country's at war like civil war like i don't, I don't know where circumstances that anyone can ever imagine and they no longer want to be here now i know this is not everybody doing this you know it can't be none of y'all not none of the gang not none of the homies but yeah um you know in, in a stuck in a hotel um without their families and friends and jobs and all of the things that they would expect in normal life and yet um they were targeted by people stirred up i have to say by social media suella brubman the home secretary has just said now i understand this is the far right group that's doing this right that the alleged behavior of some asylum seekers is no excuse for violence and intimidation. What do you make of that? Wait, what alleged behavior? I, I find myself in a difficult position because I've never agreed with anything what that woman says, but I do agree with her on this point. Uh, and it's not an excuse. Um, whatever has happened, people need to abide by the law. If Boris Johnson's not above the law and he wasn't, then no. Wait, so was the... Was the, was an asylum seeker that did that? That tried to holler at a young, you know what I'm saying? No wonder the other individual should believe that they are. Or was that the police that did? And so those activities last night will be investigated. And if people are found to have done things that are criminal, charges will be brought, I'm sure. Now you've just come from a police briefing. Um, what, what have you been told? What can we expect over the next couple of days? Well, what we're trying to do, hopefully, is dampen down some of the... Hello. Uh, ...the problems that are being created by um, some of these social media posts, inflaming people's passions to go and, you know, chase these people out of our city region. So we're hoping that the police um, will have strong presence. And then we need to have a debate, don't we, about what do we do with people who are seeking asylum in this country and where are the appropriate places for those people to be housed. The, the real issue for me is about trying to ensure that we treat those people who are fleeing persecution in the right way and not probably what they witnessed last night if they looked out of their hotel um, windows and saw the scenes outside of police vehicles being set al alight. So, you know, we, we really don't want those images um, to deter people from coming to a what is place like Liverpool. See, Rotherham, thank you. Like, I need I need full explanations in the, in the, in the, in the, in the like, as a grown up, as an adult, you ain't got to explain to me, but like, I need an explanation, bro. I need a full blown explanation of what is going on. Because I'm, I'm confused. Tell her, leave a like, comment, subscribe.